lots of moms, and mm -hmm. hopefully you will be. Is this a usual? You get flowers for Mother's usually Day? Usually do, yep, yep, yep. Okay, uh, lots of moms will be getting gorgeous flowers like Amy this weekend, but keeping them in the best shape takes a little more than tossing them in a vase with water. With more than 90 years under its belt, Ashley Madison is one of the oldest floral companies in Chicago. Senior events designer Victoria Moy gave me some tips on how to help mom keep those buds beautiful for as long as possible. I think when you walk in here, there definitely is a great description of Ashlyn Addison. It is really the Willy Wonka of flowers. We have a massive cooler in the back. Once you walk in, it feels like a whole garden. Um, and the, the, our designers pick and choose from that cooler every single day. I've been in the industry for 15 years and still, somehow, I'll still see designs that inspire me. So when we get fresh flowers, home in our house, what are the first thing we need to do? First thing you want to do is actually peel off the leaf. The one tip with leaves is that if they're in water, they're going to create the most bacteria. Oh. So that's when they get soggy. Have yeah. you ever gotten that bouquet? Yes, the gross that, and yeah. gross, We don't want that. We're, that's no. what we're trying to avoid. So it's been 91 years. We started in 1932. Our name is very telling. Ashlyn Addison was our very first location. Currently, we're in our studio in Pilsen. Um, this is our main design studio and warehouse. Roy Sheffield was the original founder of Ashlyn Addison. At the intersection of Ashlyn Addison was where he would sell these bouquets. And next thing you know it, that was his first, he bought his first store right at the same location. And so for me, working for a company that all has this such powerful Chicago legacy is very meaningful for a Chicagoan like myself. I always heard about something about cutting around the butt. Not necessarily that, but try to cut them at an angle. Okay. It gives you more dimension for our surface area for okay. it to drink water. So what all goes on here? Everything. Here we have the prettiness of the designers creating florals for fresh flowers daily for Chicago and Chicagoland area. We source a lot of flowers daily. If you can see the truckloads of flowers that come through our doors, it's, it's mind blowing to me. And we have an amazing team that just constantly gets, their hands are always moving prepping these flowers for our designers. So we have everything from designers who are putting in together the recipes and then we have the actual designers who are getting the vases prepped, the flowers prepped. The design happens up right behind me. So we pull off as many of the leaves as possible and then give it a nice fresh cut at an angle and then find the location for it that you think looks nice, put it in. Water, change it as often as possible. Okay. A lot of the people think, oh, I'm just gonna keep filling it up and if it's full, it's drinking water. That's actually not true. The water, at the end of the day, with or without leaves will still build bacteria over time. So you wanna be able to change, I would suggest, the more frequent, the better. How does it feel to work in a company like this where basically most of it, I will say most, obviously not all of it, is about joy. There is a lot of hard work. Uh, there People is. flowers and things. Oh my gosh. And the end product, the delivery process, the emotions that come with receiving flowers is always such a beautiful experience for us and the receiver. Um, it's a very fulfilling job at the end of the day. I would suggest generally, and this is not necessarily all the flowers, but I would say use lukewarm water. Um, sometimes with really ice cold water, it kind of shocks the flowers. Oh. And I always find when I do floral arrangements, because I'm a, a little bit afraid of what I'm doing, yeah. they kind of <laughs> just go boom. But you say just, yeah. you can fill it. Um, if you have branchier pieces that comes, whether it's flowers or leaves, generally leaves always have a tougher branch. Uh, these are the first pieces that you should put in. Oh, if you're okay. going to arrange your flowers. Because uh, it gives you, it kind of builds a grid for you in your vase okay. to give you that structure. Everything from length to placement to size to color, when it's right, it feels great. At the end of the day, our ultimate goal is to provide the freshest flowers for the city. All right, you can visit the Ashland Addison website today and check out their exclusive bouquet designs. Learn more and shop online at ashadflorist.com. Use the code WGN10 at checkout for a 10% discount. And we have to give a shout out to the lovely Lamia who does these flowers oh, for us every week. The she was in the, in the story as Very well. Very gorgeous. And you can add um, this to your resume now. You're I'm, doing a I'm horrible at this. And whenever I get flowers, I go like this, I go boop, <laughs> and I throw them in water and I never touch it again for like two weeks and then it gets all gross. I, so I learned a ton. I love that.